Dermot and Gary will get your situation as far as what's happened to St Kilda with all these injuries in a moment. Start of the final term, Friday night football. Blake was up, knocked it down. Ball emerges with it, kicks towards half forward. Is there some holding on yeah. down there? Not paid. Hamill's got the football to Powell. Powell 35 metres up, and pushed he as he kicks and misses. Let's go down to the dock. Yeah, just to, just to summarise, Dennis, certainly we know that uh, Justin Kaczynski with his quad injury on his kicking leg, that's a three or four week of last time, you'd have to think it's the same. Luke Penny with his chronic knee, Matt Maguire the main concern. I don't know whether he gets a big knock on the front of the hip flexor and just a cork, which would be a good result, or whether he's torn it. We'll have to check on that. He won't be back tonight. Polak should have gone for the mark. Ackland gets a hand pass away to Ball, who pinpoints it brilliantly. And Harvey, who's got three, has marked it centre-half forward. Kicks for space. Geary comes on the lead and takes the mark and landed awkwardly. He landed very awkwardly. He's slow to get up. Well, this is like a nightmare that... that He's just unfolding. Secure supporters at home would be thinking, I'm going to wake up in a minute. And yeah, then he's going to be all right. Oh, big splits. Oh, I that would have hurt Parker more than big throws. But he got the splits. It might jar his back a bit. Oh, he might have fallen. Oh. Sore from head to toe before yeah. the game, they reckon. You can add a few other things. Oh, oh yeah. It's lovely singing soprano, I think. Oh, it's a bit of a pirouette. Very balletic by the big guy. We can joke about it now because Ooh. he seems to be okay. There's, a lot, there's so much at stake. And this story for St Kilda will continue to, to unfold. So we'll talk about it enormously, I know. But for Fremantle, let's not forget, season on the line, 17 points to the margin. Cards are falling their way. Let's find out about them this quarter. Well, they've got to exploit it, don't they? Absolutely. If they're good enough or ruthless enough to. Politic and Fraser, not normally in the same sentence. I guess that makes him the go-to-to man as we head for home here. He's going to be so important. And he's missed. So they missed two in the opening minute. Pete uh, Larkins, can I just ask you, for Matt Maguire, you said it, 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 if it's a knock, well, yeah, OK, it might be a corky. If it's a tear, tell us what it means as far as weeks for some quarter fans. Well, the, the corky would be the best result, as you know, Ed, because that's just a, literally a bruise over the front of the hip flexor. And uh, whilst he'd be sore for a couple of hours and out of action tonight, he's a good chance for next week. A hip flexor tear is just the extension of the quad, so it's his kicking leg, his right leg, Matt Maguire. Again, you're looking at three or four weeks if he's got a tear, Ed. OK, Pete, no worries at all. Uh, we'll get you to have a look at the video. Not that you can see a whole lot. It was almost off frame, but uh, you'll find out after the game, that's for sure. Ackland now gets it out. So, St Kilda fans, stick with us for our post-match review. Boy, is that important tonight. Here's Harvey. Doc's excited. Yeah. Well, you can say that again. All the <laughs> papers will be sitting there rolling record on Doc Larkin's report for the back page of the papers tomorrow. Here's... Ozzy Jones, the Saints went in three dollar favourites tonight as far as the bookies were concerned to win the flag. I was about to say that last kick, it would have been the refault lead that uh, would have been offered and it came down from the back line. Powell's got it, outside 50, kick up to Hamill who's been quiet tonight over the line and out of bounds. Good battle that one, Scott Thornton. Yeah, yeah Thornton hasn't, hasn't had him the whole night. Keep your chins up, he's saying. Keep your chin up, not chins. That's a fourth Gordian slip. Keep your chin up, he's saying to his players. Now, Grover's had Hamill, Hamill for the evening. This is Black, skirting the pack, sends a high ball out towards the wing. Going back is Crowley, big crunch. And it's going to be a free kick to the Dockers now. He seems to be OK, Crowley. In the first few minutes, the Dockers, there's Dodd, who was off earlier, he's hobbled again. In the first few minutes in this term, the Dockers have not been picking up their players. Now, it's one thing to be under man, but they're not short of players. You've still got to pick exactly. blokes up. Exactly. There's Sandilands, takes the mark. They've got to outwork them and outrun them because there's not much in the bank as far as St Kilda are concerned. Medhurst missed it. Gearing up the ground. Well done, big fella. Gets a hand pass away to Ackland. Vacant 50. Black leads back in the race. It's a foot race back. Will it go out of bounds for the Saints? This will be a great result. The footy wins at Barracks for St Kilda. Soundry throw it in the pocket. It's a great decision from Ackland because he had nothing at all and he just roosted it. There's the match up here. Not, we're not joking. That is... Um, Pavlich v. Revolt in Fremantle's forward half. The promoter's dream. Throw in. Oh, oh push it from Silverlands. Nothing, says the umpire. Thompson Powell's had a couple of snaps at goal. This one bounces the game through for a behind. It's his second point of the quarter. Saints have now kicked three behinds for the term. The Dockers haven't uh, looked like it at the moment. 
Uh, they got it. Someone's got a spark them here. They just got to get running free, man. Because St Kilda, you know, are going to be brave. Lots at stake. But so too for free. A whole year, in actual fact. All right, let's go down to Peter Larkins. What did you see in Fraser Garrick there, Pete? Oh, well, it looks terrible, doesn't it? I mean, you can say, well, he's a <laughs> well, he, he, combination. I'm going to say, if you've never saw osteitis pubis condition before, he did the splits there. He also does a medial strain on his right knee, but he's actually not moving too badly, Eddie, so I don't I don't think he's come out of it with anything too nasty. Hayes gets a hand pass away. Ball runs inside the 50, lines up. This time, will it be on target? Well, it didn't have the carry. Pollack goes back, takes a timely defensive mark. See, with Revolt out of the forward line now, he would have had to follow him out on a lead. That would have run to an open goal square. That's where you're losing your potency up forward by these injuries. Here's Dodd out of the back pocket. Yeah. Not a good kick. Sure. Out of bounds on the full. That's terrible. Buck's right in it. He tried to kick it to him then. St Kilda have come out firing, really taking the battle to the Dockers, who probably expected it to be easier. Up goes Walker, had it knocked away again, two on one, favours the Saints, Thompson around the corner, Sandlins won't get there, great Mark Hamill. As you'd expect, could have broken his nose out of that. He just ran <laughs> straight at it. List. And uh, they're going to Grover, I'm not sure that anything that Grover did was untoward. This is just Aaron Hamill's commitment, you expect nothing less. Now, yeah, if he goes back and kicks a goal, he'll be such a team lifter, and Fremantle haven't been able to raise a spark at all when the game and season is on the line. This is gutsy by the Saints. Yeah, yeah absolutely it is. And often they can be defining sort of moments in the club. I know that they've, they've had a lot of injuries early in this year, but they hung in long enough. This Fraser, will test it. Fraser Gary is genuinely hobbled by what happened before. Yep. Aaron Hamill steps inside the 50. Not a good kick. Well, it's one-on-one -on -one down there, knocked down by Sandlins. Grover eventually gets back. Strong tackle brought him down. Polak goes to Josh Carr. Gee, that came out quick. Crowley couldn't hang on. That was his fastball. Crowley goes back to Black. Black chips to the square. Sandlins, they're under pressure. Pete, you got more thoughts on Fraser Gehry? Yeah, I'm sure it's his groin rather than the knee. And I said he does the splits as we see and uh, he's really favouring the groin and Parker's running him around a lot at the moment. He's stretching, the physio's chatting to him. Doesn't want to come off, but uh, I reckon something might come out of his head. Oh, gee, more news there for Saints. So we'll add Garrick to the list of injuries for the Saints. Well, at least uh, question marks. Now, Hazelby, St Kilda have had six inside 50s. Fremantle, none so far. We've been playing nearly eight minutes in the final term. It's been 22 disposals to 10. Ah, oh, good effort. That's the bloke who needed to get one. Oh. Pavlich. Don't know if he got the first touch no, on that. I don't think he did. The super contest, because he was two on one against oh, quality in revolt. And also, Blake, I think, is the other way pushing back. So just to contest, it was a good effort. Watch the hands. Look at that. Pavlich. No, yeah. he's got that. Yeah. No, he probably got a flick on it, yeah. but not, not enough for the umpire to say no, definite, uh, definitely took the ball That's off it. its course. That's a pack. They pay that. Yeah, pack pack. Yeah, Good call. Pay that. So Matthew Pavlich, to give his team a shot at the finals, that's how dramatic this kick is. To get within 13 points, this will be his fourth goal of the night. From 48 metres out, Matthew Pavlich is an out-and-out -out superstar of the competition. They're looking for some sort of sign that the realisation is, as you've just described it, Eddie, that it is a whole season. I mean, I would want to see Fremantle blokes out here urging and on top of the ground, just urging each other to get on with it. It just seems a bit uh, business as usual at the moment. Well, the thing that's going on here right now, six inside 50s for St Kilda this quarter. Revolt's in the back line. Kaczynski's on the bench. Gehrig's hobbled. They haven't kicked the goal. Only Fremantle's second goal of the second half. The last goal came at the 40-minute mark of the third term. McFarlane got that from long range. 9-6-11-7. Eight Saints in defence. So Grant Thomas trying to close it down. They've got eight Docker forwards. Rucks go at it. On the way down, long year almost. Hazel be working hard. Del Sato went to ground. Tries to flick it out. That was high surely, and Hazel will get the free. Final quarter, inside 50, inside 50 St Kilda 6 for no goal. The Dockers, 1 for 1 goal. Quite Pavlich. remarkable. Talk about the national competition, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Dennis. Just trying to say, Pavlich kicked 3 of the four last 4 goals for the Dockers. We saw Chris Jardin last week. Matthew Pavlich tonight, certainly the best two footballers playing in Western Australia.
come from Melbourne and Adelaide. Two of the most exciting in the land. Boss comes back to Baker inside the centre square. Saints consume a bit of time here. Almost to the wall. All players in one half, Dennis, and that, that, that wouldn't worry them. They know that they, well, they're more or less likely to kick five or six goals with the injuries they've got, but they just want to try and make some time up here. Bear in mind, 13 minutes to play. Goddard got it from Boss, and Revolt has presented across half forward now. Got to win the footy back Fremantle, and they've got to attack. Win the ball back and take some risks. What they can't do is concede a goal. Fremantle playing for their survival. Kicks long down towards the 50. Big leap down there from Ackland, claiming the mark is pole up. That's ambitious. He was wrestled down by Powell front on. And the umpire goes across and will ball it up. 13 points the margin. 12 and a half minutes out. Big leap. Ackland got first hands to it, no doubting that. So under 12 and a half minutes left. Longmill got the tap. Cook goes in hard. Battled hard all night. He got it out to Hazelby. Broke the tackle. Now they're away. Hazelby kicks up towards the wing position. St Kilda got the numbers. Off hands. Pavlich almost got through. Picked up by Voss. Got it out to Blake. He's turned it over. Away they go now. Farmer from 55. Kicks to an open goal. Square. Missing. Oh, <laughs> and Luke McFarlane, rightly so. He, he's not demonstrative. He's very calm by nature, Luke McFarlane. He's jumped in the air and done a cartwheel here. Look at him, watch a, him in the bottom of the screen. It's a horrible, now, he is horrible not a, decision. He is not father. a dem demonstrative young man, Luke McFarlane. No, but that is as was, angry as he gets. All he had to do was pop it over the top. McFarlane into the open goal. Hasn't been a great night for the Wiz. Yeah, it's been less than that. That is just a horrible decision. 12 points, two kicks to difference now as Baker brings it out wide. Montaigne to centre wing. Kicks up towards Hamill. Oh, beautiful mark. Did he pay it? Yes, said the umpire. Did enough. Aaron Hamill was the only man there for St Kilda. Had it hit the ground, they had the numbers, the Dockers. Hamill kicks inside. He's turned it over, though. Garrick around the corner. Fraser Garrick has missed. And just as well. Who was that Dockers player? I missed it there going through for the mark. Went one-handed. It wasn't enough. Well, it's, this is where the Peter Bell influence needs to... They need to bear in mind their captain's efforts last year think, when they go at this last week, rather. I think it was Monday, but I won't uh, send him to Coventry on that one. Can't help you there. Replay. Uh, Just looking down. Had the numbers there, the Dockers, but Gary almost snatched it for St Kilda. Black's got it. 11 minutes to go. They're going to have to have three scores at least. The Fremantle Dockers to snatch this game. Oh, look, 11 minutes of league footy in Plenty this era. There's, there's time to get 10 shots at the goal. Well, time is not an issue here. Now, I know they're trying to slow the pace out of the game here, the Saints, but in the end, they might slow up the game so they can't come back if the Dockers do hit the front. Right. Well, they do that. They could play for a week. They don't deserve to, uh, to be there. There's Peter Bell sitting in the coach's box. His effort last week is the sort of things that you, they need to show right now with their season on the line. 13 points the difference. The St Kilda side inside 50. High ball. Coming back was Pollack. Missed it. Hamill gets a hand pass to Blake Montagna yet again. Sends one down towards full forward. Bounces across the face of goal. Ball is outnumbered. Did pretty well. Runs out towards his 50. Concedes about 15 metres to Peckett. Now he's 60 metres from goal and finds Harvey a similar distance out as they skirt the perimeter. He goes in short. Oh, well done, Hazelby. Came up and stole it. Hazelby kicks long. Pavlich against two. This will be interesting. Gathers the bouncing ball. McFarlane is forward. With him running hard is Goddard. McFarlane looking for a free kick. He's going to get it. Oh, he's going to get it. Gee whiz. Two arms around him. Wow. Tonight it has been, and it hasn't been. Well, he called two arms around. I thought the grab of the jumper. The jumper gets stretched by the one hand pull. Yeah, that, but that, is it that, enough? That would have been no, no free kick. They've uh, they've benefited substantially. Fremantle today. I'll say it for the sakes. Three goals from free kicks to Fremantle. None to St Kilda. McFarlane. Okay, it's on you, Dermot. <laughs> He's booted three. He does go from left to right, so this is a tough kick for him. Have the good and the bad tonight. He's going right to left. <laughs> <laughs>
has gone right to this it. Kick. The reverse swing. You are a genius, to him. He's got four. You taught him well. Well, it couldn't have been any more important. <laughs> that was a miscut. Oh, cut it out. <laughs> Don't be modest. Oh, yeah, well, this is the issue. This is the issue here. Right, so he hasn't got him there. There, I mean, That's what he's paid for, the two oh, hands there. can't pay it for that. See, it's going to be a big week in football. <laughs> can't pay it for that. <laughs> Well, another goal to Fremantle from a free kick. That's their fourth of the night. Three of them to Luke McFarlane. Look at this. Is this a free kick, boys? Not for mine, Eddie, too. Oh. Uh, not for mine. And um, Well, the, the umpiring is consistent on it tonight. It's just whether we think it is a free oh, kick well, or not. It got it That's early, the too. The whistle, yep. the whistle was early, wasn't it? Well, no. well, it has been consistent on that tonight. Yeah. Whether you think... Well, no, it wasn't, because uh, remember sure. Fraser Gerrit. Adrian well, Anderson. That's the one that was left out. Yeah. I reckon should just put the checkbook away. I reckon he's paid his penalty now. Up forward it goes. That is Grant Thomas, of course. His dog gets the handball out. Grand for Sakura Montagna under pressure. Got out, slams it on the boot, gets it outside the 50. It's seven points the difference. Mont uh, Del Sergio over the top of the ball. Can it stay in? Yes, in the upbeat. Mundy up forward. Oh, Pan Schofield couldn't quite reach enough for it. Picked up by Goddard now. He kicks it up. Big Santa Lance is in the way. Leading the stand is Grand. He did. Now he slams it on the boot again. Out they come. Pavlich is there as well. Off hands. Couldn't take the mark there was Thornton. Now the ball comes out again to the boundary line. It's coming straight back in. Look at this. Black gets the handball going to Carr. Out on the fall. And the pressure leaves for a moment. Eight minutes, 39 seconds on the clock. St Kilda by seven points. They're running, they've run out of soldiers, the Saints. Can they hold on and win this with grit and determination? Schofield comes off the ground. Yeah, his effort wasn't good enough to it, and the season's on the lot. This is where you make your career a name for yourself, yeah? Yeah, good. Oh, oh, no, no, this bloke here. He's, he's lifted since they've, since they've got those injuries. He's, well, he's lifted for the, the occasion, but also he's become the primary focus up forward. They're going to him much more now. Now, Gearhead slides in. Did he juggle it? Taken away by his teammate, Thompson. And out of bounds. He was going to grab it too, I reckon, for us. He was. Well, Tomo instinctively went at the football. As Fraser was going back to get it. Oh, one off the feet. Yeah, Certainly not a mark. No, he might not have got it actually. No, he's got to jump it away from yeah. yeah. He's been contorting tonight. We've got to give him that. Mill fumbles, can't get through. Walker had him a long time. Harvey across the body. Hit the post. Harvey's hit the post. Well, like Peter Dacos in that jumper out there tonight, Robert Harvey. Not quite. <laughs> Just, sorry. Eight points the difference. St Kilda hanging on. Walker has it. In the back pocket for the Fremantle Dockers. Their season is on the line. Monday takes the mark at half back flank. Looks up. Not a whole lot on. Needs Pavlich to come up. Look at this for a battle. Pavlich versus Revolt. That's where it's going. Why wouldn't they kick it to Pavlich? He almost does it too. Couldn't quite hold it. Thompson along the boundary line. Pegger takes it to the line. Over it goes with 7.40 on the clock. Well, they've got one on one in their forward line, which is what they want. Farmer's done nothing at all. Is sitting down the goal square. McFarland a bit further up. Throw in, as you can see. Just backward of half forward flank for the Saints. Crowd starting to come alive now. Santa Lance gives it a big punch. Back over towards the boundary line. Right on centre wing. We'll have a throw in. They'll take advantage of this right now. It is Santa Lance dominance. And you almost got to take a bit of a risk and go over the back and run onto one over the back. He's going to get hands on it. Make the most of it. Well, it, it definitely sets the trend. The ball should go in motion towards the Dockers' goal. And that means they should all get on the bike heading that way. Santa Lance gives it a good hit forward. Montagna just got his body on it enough. Over the top they go, they hold it up, and this will give the Dockers a real chance as Sandy Lambs will get a stoppage again. Well, the crowd have found their voice. They realise it might be seven minutes of the most important time of the year for them. If you've just swung on a Friday night football, St Kilda tonight, Penny off with a knee, Kaczynski off with a quad, Maguire off with a hip flexor, and Gehrig is sore down at full forward. That is the tail of the injury tape 
Pete Larkins will give us the update right after the match. But as the clock ticks down to under seven minutes left in this game, it's an eight-point ball game. St Kilda leading by eight points. Fremantle must win this game to give themselves any chance of playing in September. For the Saints, third spot on the line. Yeah, well, plenty of time. Sandlin's down to Black. Black inside the forward 50. Revolt back in defence. Battles with Pavlich. It runs away from the pair and goes out of bounds in the pocket. So the fates might be conspiring to help Fremantle into the eight. He's helpless. Peter Bell standing behind there. The skipper. His courage last week. Monumental. But wouldn't they love him out there now? Boundary throw in. Rucks go at it. Sandlin's has been the master again. Lays it down in front. Pick tripped over. Needed to stay on his feet. Good tackle Harvey. Over the top comes Hayes, and the ball will be bounced in the forward pocket. Well, the last two times Sandlins has put it down right where the Fremantle players want it. They're going to clear out some space. That's, That's the right. thing here. Make now, some room. He needs to flick it across towards the kickoff line if he can. He tries to. Taken by Crowley. Upended. Blake goes to Harvey in two lines. Takes it back across the line. Concedes a behind. We're down to virtually six minutes remaining in the game. What an important kick in here. Ozzy Jones, I think, will take it. He has to spot a man up, but he can't just go to a dead end. He must get some play on footy out of it. Harvey to a one-on-one -on -one contest, and Revolt was the man. Why wouldn't you go to him? Gee, they've lost their, they really have lost their run, the Saints. They know that every time they shove it into the forward line, it comes back twice as quick with interest. Nine marks to the secure captain, trying to Eek a little bit more time off the clock as the kick is forward to a pack. Over the head of the pack it goes. Blake goes off the ground. Didn't get a hold of a purchase on it, but at least he got it going his direction. It spills out to Walker, who was away before he had it under pressure. There's a shocker and he smothered over the line and out of bounds. Can't second grab in this pressure cooker finals type atmosphere. Now look at this. Sandalance has come off the ground as a throw in. They don't have a run. He has come off the ground and is a mile off the pace. Longmuir comes on. In the meantime, no Ruckman for the Fremantle Dockers at that throw in. Tell you what, if it comes out this side, though, they're away. Matthew Carr taken down. Blake slides in. He's over the football Blake. Tries to paddle it across to Del Santo. Yeah. It goes across the boundary line. Yeah, the other thing to take into consideration, right now the scoreboard here at the Sub is taking a live feed of the, of the game, and you can see the clock on the, on the ground. The players know very well there's five minutes and 16 seconds left. Blake knocked it down. Hazelby heard the voice, went to peak. He's been very good. Feeds it back to Walker. Finds a way through. Now a problem for the Saints. Carr is running through midfield. Needs precision here. Goes looking for Pavlich. Cleared everybody. Medhurst got hands to it. He couldn't hang on either. Sliding back was Graham. Got out, taken oh, by the ball. Farmer down. He went holding the ball. Oh, oh, the, ball. Yes. the villain could he oh, turn wow. it? Now wow. that's well done by Jeff Farmer. He's telling everybody just cool it, stop it, it. and, and then, then went back for a fight. <laughs> he did. He thought about it. That's just a free. Well, well, he had prior yeah. opportunity. Oh, he, he doesn't know where he's getting Pearl Harbor from. But what actually happens is he's looking up the field, he's running, or is and that, that is deemed prior opportunity. Yeah. Or is it knocked dead in the tackle? I think also part Ray of Thomas. Hey, when they run him down from behind and the ball spills free, that's deemed prior opportunity. Oh. It's a free kick. It's the same aspect on the free kick. Yeah, Ray right. Thomas was looking at his assistant coach saying, have you heard the one about prior opportunity? <laughs> here's, here's Farmer. He's kicking from about 25 metres. Can the villain become the hero? Sort of. One There's point. a point the difference. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. What I'm I saying. Shoot I, anyone, no, I know. I'm just saying that is the reason why it was paid. No, they paid them all year. Yep. They have paid them all year. So three or four steps. He's in the heat and he's taken three or four. Steps. He doesn't know he's getting done from that side. It's unfortunate for him. And Tomo. Uh, <laughs> well, there's the oops. Yeah, the oops. There was an oops in there. Tell you what, it's a big few minutes for the Dockers. Come on. All right, have a look at this. Prior opportunity came from nowhere. Well, was it knocked out in the play? Look at the reaction here. Yeah. Doesn't need to be a lip reader. And that is the fifth goal tonight yeah. from free kicks to the Fremantle Dockers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with four minutes and 22 seconds left on the clock. It is one point the difference. Dennis Cometti on Friday Night Football. Longmuir knocked it down. Dot out of the middle. Kicks it down towards half forward. Crowd roars. Out comes Jones, pursued by two Dockers, closing his car. 
Jones gets the kick away with precision too. And the mark is taken on the other side by Ball. Four minutes remaining. Rebolt gone forward, been moved off. Pavlich, I think they realise now they're going to need at least one other goal. So he's gone forward, handle back. Factor in the draw as well as the kick hugs the boundary line. Rebolt comes up, it's knocked away by Thornton. And I suppose what's happening here tonight is an argument against what coaches are saying, how they should be allowed to talk about umpires. Can you imagine a press conference tonight? Can you imagine what would be said? Boundary thrown on the other side. Let us do it for them. Over the top comes Atlin. In goes Carr. Hayes went to ground, jarred out of there. Trying to emerge with a football mill, and he came out ballless, so to speak. Socket off the ground there by Carr. Going after it, Hazelby. Soccer's to his own advantage. Hazelby goes again. It's out of bounds on the ball. He's three medal in to go. Three medal in their own right. Load up at the other end. With Polak going forward, he'll team alongside uh, Pavlic and, of course, McFarlane. So three tall targets. Hazelby being outstanding. He has picked up from Peter Bell. Hayes at the ground. The clock has been blocked out, I should tell you now, at the last the five minutes. Yep. Uh, Graham kicks up the line to Baker. Yes, and it's blocked out. So the players don't know that there's three minutes and eight seconds left. There's Baker. Well, having said that, the coach's box does. Well, they've so got to get the footy back free. I've just got to win it back. Heckin has it with three minutes to go. They lead by a point. This is so tough to run down three minutes in this, in this day and time. Heckin goes up towards half four. Mark's been taken there by Thorne. Yeah, wrong, wrong, wrong side. Josh Carr went the wrong side, went the defensive side. Oh, Handball on the yeah. walk around the travel. Got it oh, away though, nice. Hazelby. Hazelby goes for the big torpedo. Right, up yeah. towards Pavlich at the back. Graham couldn't hold it. Picked up by Voss. Tackled beautifully by Pavlich. Oh. And so we would have had to deliver it. Absolutely. Oh, that's the one. That's Thornton. Where, that's where St Kilda get a, a lucky break because, oh, sorry, Thornton's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it was just Just well, well, looking at the other end. You couldn't pay that. No, no but no. Hey, oh. What was his intention? His intention he was to kick tackled. the ball. He got tackled. Who would he know? Straight to the boundary. Go. Reckon they know how to pinpoint every time. Meadows twisting and turning gets it out. Yeah, Fly oh, shot from Pete. High up in the air towards the goal square. Up they go up hands. No one there. Farmer missed it completely. All he needed to do was score. He missed the lot. And the Saints through Montaigne reload. 45 metres out from goal. They take two points for our, wouldn't they? At the absolute worst, yeah. they have to take two points. Keep them alive. Short one comes to Peckett. Now the clock, the enemy of the Dockers. Oh, dear. The man. Saints could strangle this game if they could just keep possession. Goes short, marked by Jones. Well, they've spread them free, mate. They've been able to spread them St Kilda. That's why they've been able to pick these players off. They could concede. Oh, they'll get another shot at it for our you you reckon? Take they eventually, somewhere in the next 30, 40 seconds, they'll have to kick to a contest. Well, it's coming sooner than that. The Saints have been so brave. Oh. behind the pack. Break the, the middle. Was taken there by Pete. Loved his game. The tougher it's got. The more desperate it's got, the better he's played. Black comes across the ground to Grover. They need a score. Got the numbers Scoring up past his Parker. Long ball, not a good one. McFarlane. Oh! Oh, come up the Allen, come up the man. Gives it away to Farmer. Farmer around the corner. Oh! Car fell over. Long Muir comes out. Tackle Graham, who didn't have the football. Polak's hand pass. Comes away from Hazelby. Done. Oh, tackle. tackle. Tackle by Blake. It's gathered there by Jones. Oh, he hits Blake for the boundary line. Rowan in, says the umpire. Oh, there's there's five go. seconds to go. Uh, there's plenty of time left. Luke McFarlane, he was set up for it the whole way through. This game has got everything. Matthew Carr was the man. He couldn't find his feet. If he hadn't marked it, this one here. If he hadn't kick. marked it, Farmer's kick was a bit too tricky. Anyway, the ball has been thrown in. It spills out to Peckett. Peckett with 47 seconds left on the clock. Handball's just over the outstretched hands. Oh, and he took it one-handed with Farmer coming at him. Peckett has another bounce. He's going to be run down from behind. He can't see it. He's gone. He's gone. McFarlane's got it again. 33 seconds He's to go. go. McFarlane's go. got it in his hands. Long kick forward. Looking for Pavlich in the pack. They were done by one point in round two, the Dockers. They've got a chance now. They've got a chance to reverse it. This will be a kick after the siren to possibly put Fremantle into the finals. High drama at Subiaco Oval. What a mark by Longmuir. Oh, it's been good too. At worst, look at the reaction.
and Chris Conley in the free man on coaching box. They know the season on the line. Siren. Oh. This is it for a chance at September glory for Justin Longmuir. He's kicked 14 goals, six this season. A score will make it a draw. A goal will give Fremantle a shot at September action. See, look how far he's come back. Yeah, he's oh, not sure he's got to go to distance. He took plenty of advice. 38,057 people hold their breath at Subiaco Oval. Millions of people around the country. A handstand next to him to put him off. In comes Longmuir to take his kick. Oh, ice cool. Ice cool. Fremantle have won after the siren. Look at that. Look at the scenes here at Fremantle. <laughs> the Dockers, shockers on Friday Night Football, become last-second heroes. They could well be into the finals as the purple haze goes up around the ground. Amazing scenes here. This is one of the stories of the year. That, because of their comeback, Grant Thomas marches up. Already furious at the umpires during the week. He's taken them on during the game. And injuries to Penny, Kaczynski, McGuire and possibly Gary. What a night of drama at the football on Friday night football. Justin Longview. Justin Longview has just lived there. Every kid's dream and some. Because not only is it to win the game, it's to keep your side in a hunt for the finals. That was a marvellous kick. And, uh, well, there's Peter Bell. What about Tony Jones? Straight down. Mate, this is absolutely sensational. Have you ever experienced a moment like this in football? <laughs> this is what every kid dreams of, mate. I'm this lucky one. I'm this lucky one. I get, I'm going to have to kick, so... Special. <laughs> well, tell, tell us what you were thinking as you were lining up and you had plenty of time. Just tell us what was going through your head. Um, routine. Been doing a lot of goal kicking at our training and that. And uh, purely just thinking routine. And, um, yeah, no, no other thoughts. Just... Kick the ball, kick, kick, kick it straight. <laughs> so is this purely what they mean about how 99% of the game is played above the shoulders? Did you just have to block out any thought that you might miss? Um, oh, exactly, exactly. I mean, this is what you, this is what you train for. This is what you do. You know, you spend time with the psychologist for. And this is, you know, your skill, skills coaches. And uh, oh, I'm just glad it happened on a big stage. And I didn't let the boys down. Well, mate, it's a pity it's not September, it's still August, but you might just get there because of your boot. Good on you, mate. Well done. Good on you, Tony Jones. Amazing scenes here at Subiaco Oval. Free are now sixth on the ladder because of that last kick of the night. What about Luke McFarlane? What a night he's had. Now, this is the other story. St Kilda, gallon in defeat. Matt Maguire goes off the ground with what Pete Larkin says could well be a torn hip flexor. Luke Penny off with a knee injury from the early minutes of the game. Justin Kaczynski with a quad injury that cost him four weeks at the start of the year. And Fraser Gehrig very, very sore after landing awkwardly and stretching his groin. Peckett had it for too long there. McFarlane has been one of the heroes of the night. Has he ever? He's in the grand final of Screamer. Well, he took a couple tonight. He kicked four goals. He's with Tony Jones. Oh, terrific stuff, that's for sure. Four goals, but tell us about the mark. Yeah, I can't say I thought too much about it. It was just in the right place at the right time. And fortunately enough, had a sit, but yeah, it's nothing better than this. Well, I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, yeah, we were talking to Justin there, and it's every boy's dream to, you know, bring a stadium to life, and you did that with that mark. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he just went through his routine. Everyone dreams about a moment like this, and he was able to finish off. So, terrific work by him. This would have to be one of the greatest moments in the history of Rio, wouldn't it, really, without, you know, without overestimating it? Absolutely, we knew they're, they're a top side and they came over here with everything to play for. They beat us by a point earlier in the year and thank God it didn't happen again and we're able to just nut it out and finish off. All right, terrific stuff, mate, and uh, the sad part is you've got to do it all again next week. That's right, I'm looking forward to it. All right, good on you, mate. Thanks, mate. Got to say that mark taken by Justin Longview it reminded me of Twiggy Dunn. <laughs> it did, yeah. Same sort of pack mark and he's gone back and he's different side of the ground, but he's popped it through. I must admit, when the ball was in the air, just watching him coming in, Pavlich had just got the, the pack on the right side of him, got in position, but boy, they swapped him, and it was just a purple haze there for a second, Dennis, and the long arms with the long sleeves of Justin Longmuir. Interesting that uh, he came on the ground for Sanderlands, which was a brave move, because Sanderlands yeah. had been providing such great 
forward momentum from the stoppages and uh, he came on with about five or ten minutes to go. Got in the action, but gee, did he get in that last bit of action?